Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome back to Deator Productions, and welcome back to Starfield and Willow's Adventures to Space. Ignore her words. Carrot. I'll be honest. No idea what I was doing. Completely and utterly forgotten. We are on. Oh! Vaguely remember. I would like my UI back. There we go, there's the UI. Welcome aboard the UC Vigilance. On the Vigilance. Did you have any questions before I escort you to the commander? Um. Boop. Yeah, listen to him carefully. The commander's a one and done kind of officer. In other words, he hates to repeat himself. Other than that, just observe standard military decorum, and it should keep you from serving any time on the ship's cleaning detail. I mean, try it and see how that gets far. How far that gets you. Understood? If you'd follow me, please. Got it. So, you're the vanguard that took down that Terramorph on Tau City. I did that thing. You've made quite an impression around here. Everyone upstairs is talking about it. Damn. That must have been one hell of a firefight. I almost regret kind of cheated. all the fun. Of course, we don't normally see that kind of action on the vigilance, but we have our moments. All right, Vanguard. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Akande should be waiting for you. Good luck. Ops. Got it. That door is so cool. Excuse me. Hi, friend. Ah, there you are, Commander Kibwe Kande, UC Sister. Glad to have you aboard. Thank you, friend. I was beginning to think you were having second thoughts about Commander Dwellers' offer. Uh, I forgot what the idea was, so let's go for yes, it. Sounds great. Pick the right person for the job. So, now that you're part of the team, allow me to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdev's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Cool. Whether this ship is impressive or not, you're the key element that we've been lacking. Why am I? We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. Okay. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Uh, boop. I do. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Bowden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia. So you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship. To oh, will I now? <laughs> That's right. So it'll be your job to convince this person it. that you're the real deal. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Okay. Eager to get going. Good. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. 
I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdef, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here and good luck. Thank you. I'm gonna need it by the sound of it. Dismissed. We yes. We my friend. All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. Okay. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Got it. Is that understood? Probably. Rationalize it however you like, but that evidence is critical to the success of Commander Akande's operation. I want data slates, computer downloads, that guy has a notes, Windows key. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. Um. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. Yay. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've Kill seen what I've seen, the pirates. Then you understand why it's so important that this operation is successful. Anyway, before I let you go, there's just one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return as compensation for your efforts. Ooh. It's not generous, it's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. Okay. Do it. Thank you. You're dismissed. Let me know if you need anything else. I have a feeling I need to go and get that done before I accidentally fly somewhere else where they're going to go. Ha ha! Fuck you. You're not allowed to have that stuff. Asco. What's next on the agenda? Pull out my pistol at my space seat. No, oh, I was backwards.
So, trade authority. Respect my authority. I'm in the ceiling. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I've heard that line. Oh, don't give me that look. I'm just having a laugh. What have Special you got happy me? stuff. Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hard to handle, though. What else you got? Aurora. No, they're right. What they didn't tell you is that I have a self-preservation streak a kilometer wide. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. How much are we talking? <laughs> Play your brains out. Sure, go ahead. You shoot me and the TA will have bounty hunters on your ass before you even get back to the spaceport. Listen, love. I've heard it all. Threats bounce right off. So either cough up the finder's fee or try and sell that shipment on your own. Okay, half a thousand credits. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Got it. Thank you. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Okay, bye. I hate her. I never want to speak to her again. Damn it, I'm in the ceiling again. Bye, Vasco. Bye, Vasco. I could use a break. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Oh, God. Right down to business, and no small talk. I like it. Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. Okay. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. Uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a second. No one said anything about killing. All I said was, I want my money. How you handle that is up to you. Okay, no His kidding. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. No, not you then. He can make a real good living working in my... I sure hope this hearing loss is permanent. Not wanted. Sweet. Always nice to kick back. I'm trying to work out where this guy is first. I can help you with money, bitch. Hey, slow down. I don't even know what you're talking about. Adler, you said? Nope. I 
think you have me mixed up with someone else. Mm. Uh, look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun. Uh, hey, now. <laughs> Take it easy there. Let me think about that person you mentioned. Uh, Adler, was it? Hmm? Oh, wait. You mean that Adler? Yeah, sorry. I thought you were talking about someone else. <laughs> How many bloody Adlers I are there? I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. <laughs> I'll even bring it to him personally. Sound good? Yeah? Uh, Come on. Give me a break. What the no breaks. Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now. Okay? You can't squeeze blood from a Yes, soul. you can. You know? Right? What games? Why are you doing this to me? I don't have the money. Yeah, you do. Sure. I, I guess I, I could ask for a seven-day shift. I don't know. I I'm still willing to talk. Please, tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of a choice. Hello, Captain. Really, Vasco? Robot on the leg, please move. I will hurt you. I am a scary robot. Something for me. There, would you look at that? He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? Nice, nice. Why is the table glitching out? Leaning on dead beats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. Yeah, maybe a lot more. Think you can handle running with my uh, associates? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Okay. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. But I want to. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of XP.
I should could probably quickly do this while we're here. Positions were full. Oh, interesting. Usually she comes down here herself if she needs something. I'm glad she's finally got an assistant. Anyway, I'm Andres. Nice to meet you. Something else I can help you with? Oh, is it that time already? Sure. Let's only take a moment. Let's see. Hmm. That question again? Well, all right. Okay, that should do it. Here you go. Tell her I said hi, will you? One more. Hiding in residential. Swap a plug. Please remain two meters away. All right. That looks like everybody. Who wants to begin this week? A strong. Oh, hold on there. Are you supposed to be down here? You could get hurt without proper safety training. Oh, Argos. Didn't know anyone actually survived their operations. That's fair. I'm ah, just messing with you. I know Argos. They're good people. Their safety record's actually pretty good. They stand to beef up their security, I hear. But that's neither here nor there. I'm Salmon. Not Sammy, not Sam, Salmon. I don't do nicknames. Who? Cool. I've been with Deimos for what seems like forever. So what I'm saying is, if you have questions, no one here knows these mines better than I do. Uh, Gilly. Sure, hand it here. Let's see. No. Ten. No. No. Good. No. And there it is. Is that it? You've been here as long as I have. You don't really have much more to say. This is just procedure to make the suits happy. They know cool. I'm good. Anyway, see you around. Thank you, Salmon. Bye, Salmon. Screen. Something, something, do do do. This here is the most important. Another long day. You've got all those forms filled out and returned. 
I heard that. Oh, well, that's nice to know. This is still a fairly... I'm not usually one to ask others to do my work, but you really... Buddy! Thank you, Gilly! Run away! Okay, so... Now I have to survey a habitable planet. Um, let's go check on Farrah. Careful near the railings on the upper level. Careful near the And there. This region. Well, you're back. Hi, Lynn. Forgot about you. Lynn. Oh, no. Don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. Yeah, that sucks. It's not like we were eager to stick around. But we had injured people on recovery and pickup coming at some point. Just not soon enough. Well, that sucks. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lynn. I got He's not you. fucking dead, is he? Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. Well, that's shit. And that's the last I saw of either of them. Well, off I go. They could have grab-jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. Damn it! Ooh, Moby Dick's expensive. Oh, 
mug. I made a funny noise. I know I picked up those power cells for some reason. Uh, that one. Or that one. That one. That one. Oh, that. God damn it. That one, that one, there we go, and then, that one, I need to, like, look. Yeah, so I'm not going to get anywhere with your computer until I find that third battery. I bet it's somewhere obvious that I haven't looked at yet. Music is getting incredibly tense for no real reason. I don't know why it would be in a pooper. Why would it be in the shower? Locker, locker. Literally, it's mine because I stole it. Oh. be here somewhere. Just need one. Uh, constellation, I don't know, been identified as uh, a constellation. Can't believe we got into this mess. Would you be quiet? Try 
trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gotta tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. Do you underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller? One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital B, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. Did I get it? I think I got it. get that computer working again? Of course I fucking did. What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Heller, on the other hand... Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Well, don't start buying me stuffed animals for my birthday or anything. But yes, all right. I don't like seeing my people hurt. Even Barrett and Hella. Just get after them, okay? And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. Works for me. I'm not fussy about it. Wait. I'll go where I'm needed. Go on the frontier for now, and at some point I will get you a little outpost to run so you right. can be happy. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. Yay. So I need to continue to upgrade my pilot skills. We can get better ship parts. And away we go, maybe. There we go. Dust off complete. My ship does look fucking cool. Probably not the best design ship in the world, but you know, fucking cool. Achieving orbit now. Star parcel freighter to unknown vessel. I have an urgent package, hoping for some assistance. Agno the Star Parcels fleet's got a load of these aging Deimos monsters. Built like tanks, but well past their warranty. It's gonna take hours to fix this, if we can get the engine back online at all. Sorry, company policy is if you step foot on here. I got a hot package that's paid for- they'll dock my pay if it does- Star Parcel will reward you well. Um. Ah, excellent. All you need to do is drop this off to the ship service. They'll take it from there. Thanks for bailing.
Let's go. That's the point I have a donut. That's free. Hey, anything I can help you with? Um, I'll possibly deliver. You the courier? I've been expecting you. Star Parcel has your payment right here. Anything else you need? Anyway. Let's go say Barrett. I can jump really far. It would be advisable to gather inorganic materials in this area. Okay, let's go play with this. Get distracted. You don't buy it for a while. Unless it just left again. I don't think it did. Yep, there it is. so far away.
Something tells me they know I'm here. Forgot that turrets could be a thing. That went well. Yeah, this ship is terrible. Just gonna leave it. you. In here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Considering the spaceship wreckage, you mean? Yeah. Well, you missed the worst of it. Pretty sure we ripped through all the emergency meds that were salvageable. Hey, uh, you know, when I ah, pulled you to the med bench back on Vectera, I honestly thought, shit, I think I just saved someone's life. Oddly proud moment, you know? Uh, so, uh, I guess I'm saying, glad I paid it forward. Man, I was so You're a good egg heller. Board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Uh, oh, I'm getting to that. He tells me 
We need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, this kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these hurly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. Dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was, smiling like it was just another day on the job. You miss the fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. Well, no, I don't think so. I caught him holding his ribs a few times. <laughs> Favorite his left leg a bit, you know? Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? Silly Heller. So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. Yeah, you know, you're really the one who should be upset about all this. Me, laying here, half-conscious, real inconvenience. Got a signal from the ship before they grab-jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good <clears throat> space to have a listen. <laughs> here you go. Hey, uh, uh... I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else. Yes, Heller, you can join my crew. Yeah, just uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Ugh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is. Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? Phew, oh, I'm glad. No, 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 no. Oh. You got it. Catch you on the. Step one. I need to swap my ship over again. It's roughly, it's value is a lot. How many credits have I got? How do I... I want my other ship back. This is an ecleptic ship.
about the frontier. It is the frontier. So, that one, Alpha Centauri. To Amazon. To uh, the New Atlantic. Yay, Frontier. Got any? You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. Might view and modify okay, my ship. No problem. Bearing in mind I spent ten grand. Okay, no problem. Oh, well, this guy has only got two weapons. Pretty kind of bad. However, the shield gen, that's kind of cool looking. Uh, how do I? Thank you. 
How do I sell? I'm sure you can find something you like. I mean, so far, I think all of these. Mine is better. I made two grand on that. Literally, that's the only one that's better than my current ship. So, could do uh, weightlifting and stealth. Or, I've got weapon engineering, it's. Oh, that could be useful. I think I'll get that, because that'll help me level this up. Wait, I did sell the right ship, didn't I? Hey, what can I do for you? How about it? I swear I sold. Need some work done? Sure, how about it? Yeah, well, bollocks. Come on. I'm sure you can find something. One ship now. It doesn't seem to be here right now. <laughs> uh, Drumby. Oh, you don't have a lot of money left. I am not a stunt. 
If it belongs on your ship, then I'm sure we have it. Oh, please, take a That sounds some guff. Three grandels, a drum beat, the Orion. What is the Orion? Laser rifle. I have one already that does more damage. First grandel. Oh yeah, this is all the shit I saw them before. Thanks for coming in. Making a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move. He's trying to figure out our destination. Probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. Have a good one. I cannot fast travel at this time. Why can't I not fast travel? God damn it. Oh, because I don't have a ship. Anything I can help you with? Okay, no problem. Why? What are the errors?
Two hands for me. Ah, Where is my ship? Hey, what can I do for you? Um Sure, how about it? Garfield, you cannot fast travel at this time. Oh, we're in capacity. Where is it?
I have a tiny plan. Don't worry about it for now. I'm going to do something else and my ship will arrive. Captain, over here. Hi, hey, Adrian. The workup's in the cabinet's hands. They said they'll call for us once they've gotten to properly review it. But listen, I know I should have been more forthcoming about who I was earlier. So, in the interest of full disclosure, there's one more thing you ought to know before we head up there. My relationship with the UC. It's more complicated than it might seem at oh. first glance. The UC's actually the only reason I'm here in the first place. I... am a clone... of a man named Francois Sanon. One-time fleet admiral of the UC during the Colony War. Former head of the UC Navy. They called him Ve Victus. Woe to the defeated, in Old Earth Latin. A title he earned. The program I was a part of, it was the UC's attempt to create a new generation of military minds from one of their most respected tacticians. Secure the leadership of the UC military for generations to come. He would have happily told you he was one of the greats. Ultimately, though, it didn't matter. The man I was cloned from, my father, was executed for acts he committed during the war. Oh, that's the not fun. The man caused a lot of death on both sides. Freestar Collective and UC. Military and civilians. And the things he did, well, they're a part of the reason the UC and Freestar Collective well, that's are really not on fun. good terms to this day. So my involvement, it could be another obstacle they throw at us up there. I just wanted you to be forewarned. I, I really appreciate you saying that. I just thought you deserved to know, considering how much you've done already. You know, while we've got a second, was there anything else we needed to discuss? I know you got dropped into the middle of this pretty fast. Or, if you've got any last-minute business to attend to, now might be a good time. No telling how long the cabinet's gonna keep us waiting out here. Uh, boop. Then I guess it's just a matter of... The cabinet meeting is about to begin. All parties... Cabinet chambers! Ah, Captain. Congratulations oh, to up. the... ...ranks of the Vanguard. Hello, bitches. Ah, welcome. You must be the captain Hadrian mentioned in her report. You have our thanks for the risks you faced in securing this information. Oh, I'm sure she did. Yes, well, precisely how urgent is what I hope will determine here today. 
So now, we have two petitioners here making a surprising request. Access to the UC Xeno Warfare team's Terramorph data, currently housed in the Armistice archives. A request which will require not just this body's agreement, but that of all three Armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, Captain, we've all read Hadrian's report on the subject, but we have yet to hear from you. Perhaps you could summarize for the Cabinet what it is you see as the goal of this endeavor. Um... That's quite the leap, Captain. Madam President, I object to the very premise of this meeting. While no one would argue that what happened on Tau Ceti was anything less than a tragedy, Terramorph attacks are not some sudden new threat on the horizon. They've been happening for generations. To demand, we hand over banned archival knowledge and possibly upset the balance of galactic diplomacy because of a single attack. Seems at best panic. And at worst, a power grab by the daughter of a bloodthirsty warmonger and her associates. I would remind the chief diplomat who he's speaking to. If it's my father you're looking to address, you're welcome to consult a medium. I would also ask how many deaths the cabinet requires to act. 50? 50,000? Because if tragedies like Tau Ceti are just prelude to more attacks, I have no doubt you'll get the body count you require. Let's keep this civil, shall we? And while there should be no doubt, the preservation of life stands paramount among this body's duties. Chief Essene has a point. Will a single attack, however troubling, be sufficient to convince the other factions to grant us access to what they no doubt consider weapon data? I don't think it's enough. Perhaps you can help, Captain. As the one who actually collected the sample in question, did this Terramorph seem at all alone? I mean, fighting the thing was hard enough as it bloody was. Just taking her word for it as well, then. Hmm. So it would seem. So then, Captain, given the discussion now and the information you've been privy to thus far... Hell fucking yes! Position, would Just you slow my game down, love. In the archives. <laughs> um. I'm inclined to agree. As am I. Well, I am not. I'm I want to shoot you in the stupid face. The wait, and I will not risk galactic peace on a question of if. Yes, a fair assessment, Chief Diplomat. We'll shoot so you in the stupid while faces, the data though. you two have presented is compelling, I think we can safely say it's insufficient for the level of action you've requested. Perhaps once we... What was that? Attention. Attention. An incident has occurred. Facility lockdown engaged. Oh, that's not fun. Incident? Chief Sarkin, what's happening? There's been an attack at the spaceport. Terramorphs. Well, sh Terramorphs. shit. More attacks. Just as predicted. Good God. There, there must be another explanation. The creatures evaded our scanner somehow. Oh, I reckon he's got something to do with it. Let me get out there. Chief Sarkin, order the evacuation of the spaceport and have your men contain Hi. Did they say there was an attack? The last thing we need is a citywide panic. Yes, ma'am. Admiral Logan, the local barracks can provide support? I'll make the order myself. The nearest anti Xeno squad, though, is off world. Let me go! Let me go! I go kill! I go kill things! We'll have to make do with the tools we've got. Me. You two. We can't risk those things getting out of the spaceport. I want you both on the next train there. Okay. We'll let them know you're coming and that you've dealt with these things before. Now go show them how it's done. Okay. We're on it, ma'am.
Yeah, it's so peaceful back here. Ooh, a mug. Honestly. Where do I go? Do 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 A, a run is a laser rifle. What did I actually get? Oh, okay. I'll use this one. Yeah, what the hell happened back there, Captain? This isn't now. The way those people. I. We tried to restrain them, but some of the other officers down there. We couldn't restrain. Terramonic projection. Some terramorphs. It affects everyone differently, but some people. You kill the morph, you break the hold. But this means we're going to need to. Let's do it. Nat's unlocked. Um, so you need to be favorited on nine. Terramorphs get the big bullets, people get the little bullets. Got it. Can load this side of Christmas, you know. That would be nice. Busy right now. Oh, that's not good. You might back up. Don't just stand there. I 
I think the Terra Mop is broken. Creatures locked down on the landing pad. We're barely holding our perimeter. They said you've done this before. Well, one fire team to spare and whatever supplies you need, but I, I can't risk them taking over any more of my men. Put those things down and do it fast. We'll hold them as best we can. You two have any experience with... Only the brief they just gave on the way here. But we know how to handle pressure. Surviving a full-on mental assault isn't the same as keeping your cool in a firefight. We're not UC security. Roger that. We're on you. Eyes open. Absolutely destroyed this place. I may have to do a cheeky restart. I don't think the Terramoths have loaded. Somehow. Hi, Vasco. Okay, my game just crashed out on me. Luckily, there was an autosave a second ago. I feel that thing. He <laughs> did, Doug. It's now rebuilding all the shaders.
Try this again and hope it works properly. Pro 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 properly. Yeah, it's on your bed. Benny. Come on, game. Hey, at least I get to do it without like absolutely murking them all this time. Let me reload or I will have the money. Lights out on that one. What? Way those people were acting i i don't know we tried to restrain but some of them yeah yeah all... yeah and i don't get shouted this time some shout out this time it affects everyone you kill them all let's do it that's unlocked i have a feeling this terraform terraform fight might be a little bit harder than it was last time. Come on, game. As are required to proceed to the nearest shelter. You might back up. Don't just stand there. Good. Got the remaining creatures locked down on the landing pad, barely holding our perimeter. You said you've done this before. Well, one fire team to spare and whatever supplies you need, but I can't risk them taking over any more of my men. Put those things down and do it fast. We will hold them as best we can. Heard you might be looking for. You two have any experience with terror? Only the brief they just gave. 
Surviving a full on. We're not using. Roger that. We're on. wonder Oh, the audio is going weird. Going to work. That went well. I used a hell of a lot of my ammo for this thing, though. Let's go speak to Sergeant Yumi. My ship is an easy bag. Guess they weren't kidding about you two. You know, best put the right people in the right place. doesn't feel like it. I don't want to think what would have happened if you two hadn't been here. Just glad we could rise to the occasion. Captain, we should report back to the President. Let her know the Terramorphs have been dealt with. Take care of yourself, Sergeant. Screen, oh, loading screen. Something, something, loading screen.
still loading screen. Still loading. My partner's all right. He's getting stitched <laughs> up instead of zip. Get into the city like that undetected. We all know how much. Well, Captain? Hadrian? It would appear that the cabinet owes you our thanks for what you did for the city today. As well as an apology. Your concerns about the Terramorphs will consider them validated. Thank you, ma'am. Of course. I only wish we could have acted sooner. Now, after today's events, the cabinet has decided to revisit its previous decision. We will be supporting your collection of the Terramorph data from the archives, as well as a subsequent investigation into the nature of these attacks. But to accomplish those goals, we're going to need the right people in the right places. As such, the Cabinet has authorized me to reinstate you, Hadrian, effective immediately, to your former rank... Yay, Hadrian! As soon as we've got the data in hand, we want you investigating these attacks and how to stop them. Will you do this? I... Y yes Yes, ma'am. Go, yeah, Hadrian! Excellent. But as you've both made clear... For such an investigation to succeed first, uh, I gotta go speak to someone to convince the, the Free Star groups. Collective and House Varun to play ball. Someone who knows precisely the sorts of dangers the colonies and all the galaxy. Why is everybody Please looking at me that. for? The cabinet wants you, Captain, to be God the representative. <laughs> we do. In exchange. We're willing to fast track your citizenship upon collection of the data. Yay! So, will you help us? Go on, then. I'm glad to hear it. Now, we, of course, won't be sending you in without the proper support. Deputy McIntyre in the Office of Interstellar Affairs will be your guide on gaining access to the archives. You should be able to find her in her office across the hall. And on behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our thanks. You're dismissed. Those creatures killed UC citizens. They're not killing anymore. Hey, Vasco. As you can see, these orders can't be. Yes. Yes, sir. Consider it done. That must make you my vanguard captain. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. I'm Deputy Chief Diplomat McIntyre, Chief Yassine's second in command. I heard you were instrumental in protecting the city from the attack. You have my gratitude. Thank you. I was also told the President wants us to get you into the Armistice Archives ASAP. Hmm. Someone paid attention in current events. So. Then you also know that it was originally managed by the three major galactic players. Access to the archives is only granted in cases of dire emergency and requires a one-time use code from each of the three armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, the UC is already on board, so that means we'll need to convince two people, the ambassadors of the Freestar Collective and House Varun, to hand over their codes. Okay. Get them both and you'll have your data. But that's a lot easier said than done. Okay. Very funny. <laughs> this is going to be hard enough already. Both ambassadors have reasons they won't or can't work with us. Now, I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately... It'll be up to you to get them both to cooperate. Okay. And I do mean cooperate. Threats and violence Damn it. are off the table here. Though that <sighs> doesn't mean we can't get creative. Woo! But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Damn it. Who do you want to start with? 
Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar, or Ambassador Balmore of House Varun. Yeah, let's start with Radcliffe, why not? Yeah. <sighs> the good Ambassador Gee, Radcliffe. She's a veteran of the Colony War, and her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. Now, officially, our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. Okay. Who knows? Maybe that'll work. Stranger things have happened. Okay. But my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools to get her Ah, goddammit. Certainly. See, good diplomacy is all about the careful application of pressure. We just need to find the squeeze. UC Intelligence has a recording device planted in the ambassador. <sighs> of course they do. Which we suspect you can use to your advantage. But getting caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. Yeah, probably. So, if you are going to try and access the <sighs> device, you're going to need to find a way in there without being seen. Okay. Report suggests there's a disgruntled staff member you might be able to pump for intel. Maybe even convinced to work with you. Okay. All right. Here, your diplomatic ID. I'll give them a heads up. You're on your way. Not likely to let you through the door otherwise. God damn it. Ambassador Balmore's a challenge. When the rest of House Baroon retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing of the armistice, Balmore stayed here. Okay. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests. Yay! So real hope he might again. Though claiming to know how a member of House Varun thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. <laughs> they certainly come with a checkered past, but there's an additional... Well, wow, that's all good. We're not 100% sure Balmore is actually still alive. His public appearances were always rare, but it's been several years now since he last poked his head out. Scans of the facility show life signs, but not the kind we were expecting. Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the armistice. Mm. It would at least be a speedier negotiation. <laughs> but I, of course, hope the ambassador is alive and well. Now, the embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. Got it. Here, this device should get you all the way down to the embassy. You gave interior. me nothing. Once you're inside, though, finding the ambassador is going to be up to you. Yeah, I have and a quest marker. You, you received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the embassy during the attacks. Watch out for automated security in there. Okay. Now, if you have additional questions or require clearance for a new approach we haven't already discussed, don't hesitate to ask. I'd suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Be smart out there, Captain. I try. Hey. Strategic asset? <laughs> More like a financial black hole. I don't know why we keep funding that. Pardon. Ahem. Was it really Terramorphs? Was it really Terramorphs? In the city? Nah. <sighs> I'm just gonna like leave it. Do something else first. In the city. In the city. Thank you. 
I cannot flash shot this time. God fucking damn it. Is it because my ship is somewhere else? Or do I have to exit in a specific way? Spaceport, spaceport. Yeah, na 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 na. My ship isn't here. That would seem to be an issue. Where the fuck is my ship? Hey, got anything you need to offload? Trade authorities always buy. Nothing for us to do. Okay, no problem. Where the fuck is my ship? Um, who is she? Who am I? Right now? No, I can't click on. They hold three hundred. For a mass of sixty eight, whereas these hold three hundred. Use engine count. Well, piss. Uh, 
fuel tanks. That's too big. I mean, I got enough fuel anyway. Don't need a landing gear. My grab drive. Nine twenty one. The grab jump thrust is twenty. Does it? Does it really? What is the unattached module? Where? Oh, these bits. Yes. Done. Field, I have lost my ship. Step by step guide. Are you playing action? Where the dick is the frontier? My beautiful ship. Uh. 
I've done that and my ship still hasn't shown up. I've modified my ship. And both of those. Fucking damn it. Post very similar to mine. Where are you? Was I before I came to Alpha Centauri? That's all three where I've got to go. It wasn't Vessel 2. I can have fast travel at this time, mother fucker, where is my ship? Okay. And told by restarting the game. I shifted to disappear. By a tiny bag of shit. Tell them.
I do not want to have to go back to God knows how long ago. My ship just doesn't exist. Let's see. Do at land. That didn't work, and I, like... Where the fuck is my ship? Okay, I can fast travel to my ship. anything you need to offload trade authority is always buying sure how about it leave me can eat
that one that has the sort of thing. And that one. Why can I now not add? Okay, I sold a lot of stuff. Why did it not give me the money for it? That's not the weapon I had before. This one. Is that what happened? That the, at some point it glitched and told me I didn't have enough money. Fucking damn it! Didn't work. Oh. I always forget how to. Oh, there we go. I've got the money. Oh, flight check, there we go. Uh, unassigned. Pulse lasers. Need some work done? You should inspect your... Is it still saying I've got my home ship is the ecliptic stiletto? So what hey, I might have to do. I I'm sure you can find Buy one of these.
Okay, no problem. Anything I can help you with? Sure, how about it? Frontier to make my home shit. There she is! Hey, what can I do for you? Uh, V modify my ships. Okay, no problem. Fucking damn it. Uh. I'm sure you can find something you like. Fuck's sake. After all that, we got the frontier back. I'm gonna do a quick, quick set. So, I think what it turned out was because at one point it glitched and didn't think I had enough money to buy something, it didn't put the part on, which meant it didn't like leaving the thing. So... I don't know, but I fixed it. Had to buy another ship. Had to go and spend money. For fuck's sake. That was a pain in the ass. Anyway. If I spam, join us on Wednesday as we are trying something new. I might have streamed it before. Honestly, I don't remember. I know I played it myself. Um, but we will be starting Prey. Uh, obviously, a couple of years old at this point. But it's incredible fun. Um, Dream Elements is struggling to remember to something anyway. Yeah, so, fixed it, so I've got my shit back. Save. Save. Just save. And then set quit out. There we go. Done. Marvelous. Incredible. Wednesday. Pray. Thursday, Friday. Stone block. Thank you very much. See you at all. Out.